Welcome to Dasco. Hi, my name is Josie. I'm the graphics lead at Dasco Label, and today I'm going to show you how I went about designing a beer bottle label. So first things first, the template I'm using in this video is available for free. Please check the description for the links where you can find that. There will also be a template for a wraparound can label that you are welcome to make use of if that would be helpful to you. So if you're designing a label, particularly if you're going to do an illustrated label as seen here, what I would recommend is doing the illustration in a separate program. You could either do that um, with pencil and then clean it up in Photoshop or just do it entirely in Photoshop, which is what I did here. Um, but either way, I would recommend using a program um, that you're comfortable with to make your artwork and then save those as PNGs or just like a flat image file and then import that into this template in Illustrator so you can very easily manipulate it. You will notice that I left the back label completely blank right now. That's because I'm planning on putting the text elements for that area in, in there with Illustrator. So I'll be designing that in this program instead of importing it like I did with the artwork. The next step I'm going to take is I'm going to add all of the text information as I just mentioned. So I'm going to put the alcohol per volume, the how many ounces the can is, and I'm going to put those on the front label. Since I have a back label, I don't have to worry about putting like the uh, medical disclaimer or the barcode or any of that on this nice artwork on the front. I'm going to put that all on the back label. As I design the back label, there's a few things I'm going to keep in mind. I'm going to put a description of the beer that's going to take up a big chunk of the back label um, just for some additional marketing, something eye catching to put on there. Uh, and then I'm also going to be putting the barcode, information about recycling, the information about the brewery and where the brewery is located, as well as the um, Surgeon General's warning that's a requirement to put on any alcoholic beverage in the United States. So you can see me putting together all of those elements here. And this label, even though it's uh, a little over three inches by two inches, it fits all of these elements and it helps sort of declutter your front label so you can have all necessary information, but also have a really nice looking label on the front. So the last element of this ensemble is the neck label. In this template, there is a top layer that has the like die line for the neck label. This die line is based on our own measurements. So you'll want to talk to your label provider and get the exact die size. However, this is should be a fairly close approximation that you can use when designing your label to get a general idea of uh, where things should be and what the layout should be. So keep that in mind when you're using this template. Um, in order to save the image so that die line does not show up, all you'll need to do is click on the little eye next to the top layer, layer one, and that will render that die line invisible. So when you save it and export it as a high quality PNG, then everything will look really nice and clean and you'll be ready to print. Thanks for watching. If you don't see what you need here, give us a call at Dasco. We're here to provide solutions that meet your needs. 800-927-7701 or contact us at dasco.com.